Frida, Regional Fund for Digital Innovation in Latin America and the Caribbean. LACNIC, the Regional Registry for Internet Addresses for Latin America and the Caribbean. Frida is the Regional Fund for Digital Innovation in Latin America and the Caribbean, a LACNIC initiative aimed at contributing to the development of the information society on public or private organizations, NGOs, foundations, private companies, governments, universities that are working on research and or deployment projects in the field of ICT in Latin America and the Caribbean. With the support of the International Development Research Center, the Swedish International Development Agency, the Internet Society, LACNIC. Frida is a proud member of Seed Alliance Helping Ideas Grow, a new initiative launched in March 2012 as a space for international collaboration seeking to promote innovation and facilitate social development on a larger scale. Seed Alliance is possible thanks to the support of the International Development Research Center, the Swedish International Development Agency, and the contributions of AFRINIC, ABNIC, and LACNIC since 2004. 1,000 plus organizations and research teams have already participated in the program. 950 plus research projects have been presented by more than 20 countries on the Lake Region. 400 plus projects had been nominated for the award since 2010. 25,000 plus votes have been cast by the community in support of the projects nominated for the awards. 45% plus of the projects are led by women from the LAC region. 1.2 plus million dollars presented in the form of grants, awards, and startup funds since 2004. Awards Plus. Frida has been rewarding innovative and successful initiatives that make creative use of ICTs for development in the region since 2010. These awards are presented according to different Internet Governance and Web 2.0 topics. Starting in 2013, small grants were added to provide funding to start-up projects, replicate or extend activities relating to submitted projects. Based on Internet Governance themes, IT focuses on the areas of access, freedom, development and innovation, and highlight the best 2.0 campaign most creative project. The project Unique Health Digital File, EDUS, by the Costa Rican Social Security Service has been created in response to the needs of the public health institution and has been translated into health technologies, safeness and quality in every clinic practices, as well as warmness and humanity on its services. EDUS is a group of different systems connected together in order to collect and store the clinic user's information, beginning from the doctor to the patient care assistant, as well as the management information that supports the taking decisions. Therefore, the information of any person is available at any time, being able to be checked out from any place of the country. As part of this project, There has been an homogenization and standardization of the assistant processes included in the different levels of the provision of services, beginning from the first level of assistance, which is basically composed by patient attention programs divided differently related to the people's needs. For instance, child care assistance, women care, among others. As part of the environmental effort in connection with the digital aspects, a program of reducing the use of paper has been implemented. Moreover, a decreasing of the paperwork has been set up as well as the digital signature modality. Due to the particularities of the Costa Rican health system, this mega-project involves some special characteristics, such as the conforming of a developer's team and a starting-up team. In this project, a great importance has been given to the role of the user. Among the advantages of the provision of services, we can find the possibility to integrate the technical aspects with the practical aspects, that is, knowing how things are done, known as the know-how, and the inclusion of the daily assistance procedures into the inner technical development of the project. 
People show no resistance to this project due to the fact that changes on the daily routine are avoided. This project responds only to the user needs. The users are not being obligated to adapt themselves to an unknown system. Because of being a very extensive project and being a governmental project more than an institutional one, we can find there are some difficulties, such as the budget due to the high costs related to connection, equipment and capacitation, as well as maintenance. Due to the fact of being a new way of using technology tools related to the provision of services, is that a component of changing control was incorporated in order to achieve a higher rate of success and show evidence of the system's benefits. The main challenge is to achieve the national integration of all assistance levels and the stabilization of the different systems as well as the rupture of the previous models of assistance in the different institutional levels, from the basic assistant teams to the national hospitals. We created this project because we noticed that people with low wages in Brazil had no possibilities to access to the Internet at all. Only a 41% of the people in the country have entire access to this kind of technology, whereas a 98% have access to open TV services. This is the reason why we created a convergent technology, so they could have two possibilities to download files, have radio stations and telecommunication channels. We have to overcome big challenges for making this project succeed, um, because we have to deal and work with the convergence of different technologies. One of the most important issues for this regard is the use of languages related to IPs, telecommunication languages, as well as audiovisual languages related to BTS, Broadcast Transport Streaming, that are TB languages. This had never been done before. We also use these languages, but we use the NCL language, that is a specific language by Jinga. This is middleware SBDTB, as we use it throughout Latin America and also Africa. With this project, we will be able to reach the 4,000 million of people that don't have access to the broadband and the Internet, but do have access to the TV services and bring them the possibility of being connected with the world. The future of this project that we are now developing to a national level will not be only regional service, expanding throughout Latin America and Central America. We also hope to expand this idea to the whole world. For instance, we are now beginning to work with the countries that are now using SBDTB, but it is possible that we could join to the other world digital services, such as DDV or TSC, and develop the idea of converging digital platform. This will be a project that will not only involve the Internet technology, the IP technology, but also it will have the simultaneous TV participation. With the possibility to be a free service, the whole world will take advantage of this source of access to the information. The digital television and the Internet are like brothers. They are technologies that must get together to enhance the quality of life of the people around the world. Lingua first came into existence for taking part in a competition of startups, technologies, enterprises. The original idea was to develop an application that would allow visually impaired people to be able to hear the web. We didn't want a robotic version for this project, but a more human one. That is how we started adding some narrators and journalists for this application which started changing to become something more global. Our friends often told us that this application would be really useful for them so that they could be continuously informed while driving, walking or even being at the gym. Therefore, we decided to increase the functions of the app, but without leaving the original functions of this project out of sight. Nowadays, Lingua is targeted towards visually impaired people as well as people who want to be informed while being in movement.
The second challenge we had to face was the project diffusion. For that reason, we decided to take part in several technology contests. We were lucky to win one of them, organized by Google regarding to digital press. This made us popular very fast, and afterwards we got a big number of users for our app. Now we hope to reach more people through the Frida contest, and we also hope to help them and make the internet access equal for everybody. The most challenging issues for us, and at the same time the most important one, is to get financing. This issue is especially difficult for those business ventures regarding to technology and with its origin in Latin America. For an enterprise, this issue is the most important one. Why do I say this is the most important issue? Because having an endorsement would allow us to build bigger infrastructure and enhance our human resources in order to optimize the systems and the services for our users. On the other hand, our aim is to achieve the recognition of Lingua throughout the region. And we want it to be appreciated by the community as an application that is in permanent search for the innovation and for its caring character. We created this project with the support of the public university after understanding that exists new ways of producing knowledge and that within these new ways it is essential a permanent interaction with the society. We are working with children that are native to this digital world and that they have a technology command that is probably higher than adults' command in this regard. In this way, we are trying to complement and take the children's knowledge and target it towards educational objectives. We understand that the new ways of communication and information that are based on the new technologies give support to the use of our freedom. And what we look forward is to develop capacities with connection to the human development. When speaking at a community level, the challenge is, let's say, that families could be able to share the children's learning processes and at the same time discover personal purposes. In the future, we would like that those communities where this project is taking place be able to find the solutions to their issues by making use of the technologies and so achieve control to be able to solve issues from both technological and society areas. Regarding the university's initiative of creating and making this project possible, it is related to the fact that the university, as an institution of knowledge, cannot be out of this process that is the Ceibal Plan of Uruguay. It is a project that is targeted towards the inclusion of all of us into the information of knowledge society. A more specific aim that we can share in this moment is to create networks for sharing experiences at a local level, regional level, and why not, at a global level. Looking for these mentioned objectives, achieving control over these technological tools by the society. We created this project because we are visually impaired people that had always had troubles when trying to access to the books. Technology really opened the door for us to overcome this problem. With the opportunity of being able to use a computer adapted with a screen reader or scan a book and read it afterwards, we found an opportunity to access to the reading in an automatic way. In addition, taking the Internet as a way to share resources and information between us and putting all these elements together allowed us to generate this project and also to work for solving the problematic that we face every day. Our principal aim was to warranty that only visually impaired people would have access to this library in order to keep the author's copyright safe and so create a project that would be able to grow over time. We started working with authors that supported us uploading their books. In Argentina, we have achieved to introduce into the law some exceptions to the author's copyrights in order to create accessible books. In the last few years, we've been taken as a reference in a negotiation that generated an international agreement related to the books for the visually impaired people. Due to the fact that this project began to grow faster than we thought, 
Another big challenge was that we didn't know if we could sustain this project and generate the economical resources in order to achieve all the things that we wanted to. For that reason, we had to be in permanent searching for the ways to sustain this project. We have to reach people using the possibilities that are given by technology. We have to look for the way to get to other platforms, such as mobile phones, platforms that allow us to reach those places where these kind of technologies are the only technologies reachable for the people and give them the possibility to access to the library and books. We also want people to know the opportunities that a visually impaired person has nowadays. And the other great challenge is also to achieve this project become sustainable so we can have funds and economical resources in order to be able to focus on the objectives, reach the people we haven't reached so far and enforce the networks without wasting energies in trying to sustain the project.